Prehistoric people had to scrape and scrunch for every measly calorie. They often risked their lives to bring home dinner. Given the scarcity of ancient food sources and the dangers of trying to procure them, it's not surprising that so many people are on the chubby side nowadays. The paleo diet is a solution prescribed by the trendy. But actual ancient diets were much weirder than anyone thinks. Juniper Roasted Escargot Ancient humans savoured woolly rhino steaks on occasion. But the safest survival strategy was to focus on food sources that couldn't gore you. More than 30,000 years ago, Spanish Homo sapiens did just that. They became the first to enjoy a delicacy favoured by the snobby. Escargot Iberus alonensis, land snails, were common during the transitional period that produced modern humans between the Pleistocene between 2.6 million to 12,000 years ago and the Holocene between 12,000 years ago to the present. At the Cova de la Barriada cave site in Spain, scientists found land snail remnants from 30,000 years ago, which is 10,000 years before the previous earliest escargot samples found in the Mediterranean. Like a fancy appetizer at a French restaurant, the snails were cooked over juniper tree embers at high heat, about 375 degrees Celsius. Dog Stew Coprolites are fossilized turds that reveal a lot about our ancestors' diets. An ancient feces from Heinz Cave in Texas holds a surprising tidbit. A 9400-year-old fragment from a domesticated dog's skull. For thousands of years, dogs have offered us companionship and guardianship. And now it appears they also involuntarily offered us a food source. DNA analysis revealed that the skull fragment came from a domesticated dog and not a wild canid, like a coyote or a fox. The dog resembled a short-nosed Native American dog that lived in New Mexico. It probably weighed around 13.6 kilograms, which would have been a substantial meal 10,000 years ago. But dogs probably weren't an everyday dish. Based on ethnographic evidence, prehistoric people only dined on dogs during famines or celebratory feasts with their preferred cooking method, stew. Stomach Contents of Animals Our ancestors routinely ate nasty things out of necessity. You can't be picky when you don't know when or if your next meal is coming. But among the nastiest of the nasties may have been chime the partially digested stomach contents from animals. Some researchers believe this based on microscopic remains found in 50,000-year-old Neanderthal dental plaque. Therein were found bits of yarrow and chamomile, both of which are bitter. Researchers propose that these plants found their way into the old hominid's guts in an undignified way, through the stomach contents of animals. After all, once you've got the kill, why be wasteful and throw away the stomach or other organs when it's a convenient source of extra calories? Some cultures still partake in a similar culinary tradition. Inuits in Greenland consume reindeer stomachs as an occasional delicacy, while indigenous Australians occasionally go to town on kangaroo chime. Deep Sea Fish when we picture the humans of 50,000 years ago, we see people huddled around meager stick fires in a crappy little cave. But these people were already plying the deep seas. They used their advanced maritime skills to reach Australia and, more importantly, to eat well. And eat well they did. Dining on fish that sell for thousands of dollars today. A shelter in Jerry Malay, East Timor, revealed the bounty of 42,000-year-old fish bones. And not just a few fish bones, but 38,000. Even more surprising, more than half of the bones belong to pelagic, deep-water-dwelling species like parrotfish and tuna. Researchers also found two fishing hooks hewed from shells. The oldest was between 16,000 and 23,000 years old. Considering the previously oldest discovered fishhook was about 5,500 years old, the discoveries at Jerimale upset the pescatarian timeline, as tuna were too agile for spearfishing. 
Our ancestors had to raft into the ocean and trap them using nets or handmade hooks, beefed up versions of the ones discovered at the shelter. Crocodile and Hippo We like to think that we evolved our humongous homo sapien brains by eating flame-seared mammoth steaks. But it's just as likely that the slimy flesh from turtles, crocodiles and hippos provided the vital nutrients and calorie-dense fats necessary for massive brain growth. A canyon site that housed our ancestors 1.95 million years ago is so well preserved that researchers can recreate the ancient environment. The wealth of extinct plants fossils paints a picture of a much wetter, marshier northern Kenya. Researchers found more evidence lodged in the teeth of animals slaughtered two million years ago. The teeth held traces of microscopic plants, meaning our ancestors enjoyed the finest grass-fed meats, which they ate raw. But targeting swamp creatures was a strategic move. Swamps were underappreciated hunting ground safer than the hostile grasslands and savannas populated by large feline assassins and hyenas. With that, we reached the end of the video. What do you think about this paleo diet? Comment down below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in the next video.